always leave my skateboard there at night, so I know where it is in the morning. Well, you can just unleave it there from now on. Unleave it? Is that even a word? Don't be horrid, Henry. You know exactly what I mean. No, I don't. Do you know what she means? I know what I mean, and that's the important thing. I guess. Come on, you two. You're going to be late. <laughs> Where was I? We're going to be late. Oh, yes. Look at the time, Henry. Ah! Uh, look at the time, Henry! Where? Where is it? Where's the time, Dad? <laughs> I'm late. I'm late. For a very important... Date? No. Meeting. My tie. Where did I put my tie? <laughs> You're wearing it, Dad. Have a good day. Morning. Horrid family. Well, that was a good start to the morning. And that makes it even better. I'll be lucky if I see my skateboard again this week. Too right, Henry. Mum's really, really cross with you. <laughs> when Mum decides I have to get up early and do my chores. But sometimes she forgets to come and yell at me and I get to lie in till lunchtime. So that's a good morning. Until Mum remembers and comes and yells at me again. Usually to pick my clothes up off the floor. I try telling her it's a floor drobe. But she doesn't believe me. So then what was a good morning becomes a bad morning. <laughs> Morning! Don't know yet whether it's a good one or a bad one. It's a horrid one. Good morning, flowers. Good morning, sky. Good morning, tree. The worm always seems to have a good morning. Good morning, Paul. Morning, Peter. Morning, Henry. Morning, Paul. Now then, Henry, is it a good one or a bad one? Can't tell yet. Mum confiscated my skateboard, so you could say it's a bad one. But today's Friday, so only one more day at school. Yep. Wait, does that make it a good morning? Does in my book. Well, can't stay here chatting to you all morning. Got my last delivery to make, then I'm off for the day. <laughs> so much about perfume anyway. <sighs> because I'm an inventor and inventors invent things like perfume. You that's it! Peter, how do you fancy inventing Mum's anniversary present for both of us? Hmm, what's in it for me? Fame, fortune, making Mum happy. I hate it when you're nice to me, Henry. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you were an inventor! All you've invented so far 
was a load of explosions. Easy one. Just my little joke. Come on, we can't hang about. How's it going, Worm? Uh, I mean, most wonderful inventor. Behold my perfume. It smells just like a delicate rose. like girly smells. Just uh, how much of this stuff have you made? Quite a lot. Quite a lot? Hmm. It really would be such a shame to see it all go to waste. Yes, it would. So, uh, we'll just have to go into business together. What? I can see it now. My, uh, your name in lights. The success. The riches. Just think. Yes. I can see it. Peter and Henry's perfect perfume. Actually, I was thinking Henry should go first. But uh, let's not worry about that now. Come on, let's find some bottles to put it in. Ah, the sweet smell of success. Nest. They sting you, don't they? Uh, not if you sing to them. No one else will have one. You'll get top marks. Easy. Oh. Sing, Peter! Sing! Sonne la matina. Sonne la matina. Peter, come away from that wasp's nest. It's all right, Dad. I'm singing to them. Henry said they won't sting. Peter, stop! Of course they'll sting! Come down now! How could you be so horrid, Henry? Well, Dad said to help him find something for his nature project, so I did. Something safe! Oh, well, he should have been more specific. Oh. Come on, Henry! You Eureka! That's it! The sooner we get to the stupid lake, the sooner I go home to watch Rapper Zappa! Come on, let's run! Isn't this fun? <laughs> That's the spirit, Henry. Whee! Let's find the lake! Oh, 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 singing nettles! Oh, 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 oh! Come on, so goat! Last one to the lake is rubbish! I see it! I see the lake! There's a shortcut! Come on! <laughs> I knew he'd enjoy our hike. Frere Shaka, Frere Shaka, Dorme Boo! Oh, they've slowed down! I knew they would. Good thing I doubled back. Ding dang dong! Ding dang dong! I'm missing Rapper Zappa! How am I going to get them to hurry up? Right. Come on, everyone! That's not a cow, is it, dear? No, that's a bull, all right. Uh oh. <laughs> We should never have taken that shortcut. Fences are there for a reason. I told you the countryside was dangerous. <laughs> na, 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 na. It's so easy being me. I'm hard and Be a gold gizmo. Please be gold. Be gold, 
gold, gold! I want gold! I need gold! No! Out of my way, worm! <laughs> oh, don't be horrid, Henry. It's my turn to get the gizmo from the cereal! <laughs> that is so not fair! It might be gold! We'll just have to get another box right now! Uh, no. Not until you've finished these three. But I want to... Oh, why? It's a gold gizmo! What? No! I got blue. Green! Uh, yellow. Bert? Uh, I don't know. It's black, like a hole in your brain. <laughs> what gizmo did you get? Um, actually, I got silver. <gasps> no way! <laughs> That's nothing. I got gold. Never. You're so lucky. Is it beautiful? Can we see it? Wow, a boy with a gold gizmo could do anything. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's at home. I don't want to bring it to school, do I? It might get stolen. My lunchbox was stolen once. Rubbish! You haven't got a gold gizmo, Henry, and you know it. If you had one, you'd be showing it off. Come on, Henry, show us. Show us! Show us! Show us! Show us! when you see it. Ha! We'll be waiting. Hmm. This is going to take something mega clever. It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. Where has the worm put him? I'll do all my homework after I've cleaned my cello, Mum. <gasps> Look at all this mess! Mum! You did it! You stole Mr Kill! You've been waiting to get back at me. For what? Everything! prize in the sandcastle competition if you hadn't started blubbering. Mum! And that's not all. What a perfect day, not a cloud in the sky. The birds tweeting softly as their wings flutter by. <laughs> not even a thank you for that flying lesson. Oh, and what about your birthday? Snivelling toad. So, where is Mr. Kill? Mom! Silence, worm. Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll have to use force. No! <laughs> no! Did anything but that! What have you done with Mr. Kill? I haven't touched him! <laughs> Choice. Mr. Kill? Please, I don't know. Last chance. <laughs> <gasps> what have you done? Tell them, Peter. Confess. Not Peter, you, Henry. Me? He's the thief. He took Mr. Kill. No, he didn't. I know he didn't. Well, who did then? I did. 
Of course. I should have known. You cleaned my room, didn't you? That's when you took him. And I know why you took him too. Because you want to blackmail me into being good like Peter. That's it. I have had enough. Hey, this is my investigation. Let me go. Let me go. There's Mr Kill. No one stole him. I washed him because he was smelly. Oh. How could you accuse me of stealing your teddy bear, Henry? And how could you accuse your little brother, too? And your father. And me. You, young man, are going to stay in your room for the rest of the day. What? And you can pay for poor Peter's cello strings with your pocket money. Now go straight to bed. What about Mr Kill? He's staying right there. It's so easy being me. I'm Come on, keep up, Henry. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. A father and his son at one with nature. Whoopie doo. In a couple of hours, we'll be eating our very own catch. The only fish I like comes wrapped in breadcrumbs. Ah, it's all coming back to me now. Watch carefully, Henry. It's all in the timing. Over your shoulder, aim and cast in one perfect motion. Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> Bother. You might catch a flying fish, Dad. <laughs> so, what lesson have we learned, Henry? Never, Never cast, cast a line, line under, under a tree. tree. Ah, yes, that's right, Henry. Ooh, I think I've got something. Oh, boy, you! What? Oh, uh, oh uh, I do beg your pardon, madam. Oh, Taking liberties with my hat, you <laughs> naughty man! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you big bunny! It was just an accident. <sighs> Why does everyone have to beep their car horns? Anything to eat, Mom? Yes, sweetheart. I've got some organic crackers. Mmm, goody! Mmm. I spy with my moving people! Okay, Henry, let's get serious. Watch and learn, Henry. Good boy! Brain doesn't work. You what? You have to 
use the same letters. Bogey brain, BB. Slug snot, SS. Surprised you didn't know that. Just testing. Anyway, who says I have to? No one. You telling me I have to? No. That's the problem with you, Henry. You're so bossy. Bossy? I'm bossy? You're the bossy one around here. Who are you calling bossy? Nice one, Henry. She's moody, isn't she? Oh, yes. Sorry, I forgot. You're moody. Moody Margaret. Thanks for that, rude Ralph. Or maybe I should call you Ridiculous Ralph. Huh. Mission accomplished. Refreshments, Ralph? Or should I call you Ridiculous Ralph? <laughs> That's not my name, Henry. I know it's not, but it's quite a funny name. You might think so. I don't. My name's Rude Ralph and that's that. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. I know that. I was born to be rude. Yeah, yeah. I know that too. Think about it, Henry. What if you were called Hilarious Henry? Wouldn't be too bad. I have been known to be quite funny sometimes. Yeah? But it's not the same as being horrid, is it? No, I guess not. Now, are we going to get on with squeezing these slot bags or not? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're rude! <laughs> and horrid! <laughs> Hope it didn't hurt too much. No, I've been really thinking. What if our names were different? You what? What if our names were different? Would that make us different people? We're deep for this time of the morning, Ralph. Yeah, but it's a thought, isn't it? Hmm, Sonny Sid. Oh, Henry, you were it, boy. <laughs> I don't think so. You feeling all right? Yeah, never better. Why'd you ask? Well, you're being very... Aerobic? Well, yes, since you ask. It's so easy.